Hi, welcome to Data on My View. Today I'm going to show how to change the source of uh, Webby document. So as you know, this uh, Webby document is using one of the universe, which is nothing but E fashion universe. So for example, uh, take a scenario. Here you have a uh, different columns. Uh, take this category column. I just want to change the name of this column category into uh, maybe uh, category underscore new so uh, it doesn't mean to change it here actually when we give access to the end user they will be seeing all these objects available in the report so we have to change the name of this object uh, report object category into category new so uh, as you know this can be done through uh, universe uh, which is there in uh, IDT <coughs> So once you have changed, then uh, this report is going to affect because this uh, report is pointing to the object called the category. You know that uh, name is going to change as category underscore new. So the point of connection to this category will be lost. So we will get an error for this particular column. So to avoid that situation, uh, you can change the universe. So you can uh, do the changes on the universe and you can publish to the repository. Once it is refreshed in the repository, you can connect to that latest universe and you can get the same report. So it means you no need to modify or, uh, anything in this report. Just save this report and keep it aside uh, in your server. So once you change that uh, universe, you can again repoint this report to that uh, particular uh, universe. So for example, I just retrieved my eFashion universe from repository so which is uh, easily by going to universe folder and uh, right click on this and uh, uh, this is unv it should be there okay here i have uh, <coughs> UNX universe so then I can right click I can retrieve the universe to the local project so once I retrieved I can open this business layer so because I have to change the category name into category underscore new so here I just selected that and I'm changing the name so once I change the name I'm going to save this and again uh, this is not going to affect anything so uh, still <coughs> I can do the integrity check so once this is done actually um, so no need to bother about this so as we have a working uh, universe and working report so I have done only these changes and I'm going to publish this to the repository to repository and click next and <coughs> choose the folder finish so it is going to override the existing universe in this repository so once it has done actually we have to refresh the repository universe so for example I'm going to refresh I just created a new document so where we can see the list of universe so, <coughs> so now I'm going to refresh this these are one order perfect one should be there and uh, we got this M ok I type it here we replace from ok so this is the one we published now refresh this so once this is refreshed close this and go back to the document the one your uh, existing report go back to this uh, data so under data you can see the query so if you right click the query you can see the option called the change source so just click the source and click the specify new data source because that old so, uh, data source is available uh, but we have done the changes on on the category column so we have to point to the new data source so go to universe and and choose that universe select 
so while choosing here we have to map the column uh, properly actually we have uh, around uh, five to six objects are there so those objects will be displayed here and again it is going to point with the uh, new uh, new uh, report columns as well so here everything is pointed based on the name so year to year state to state here category is pointing to category underscore new because it's almost similar with my uh, existing or uh, uh, that old uh, category name so that's the reason it has pointed uh, automatically otherwise it will it may be a uh, point or uh, different name so we have to manually go and choose that particular name to match the existing column name so this is one of the scenario actually once we have done there is no changes in your report so everything is going to work as it is so it is not going to uh, affect any of your uh, report uh, elements or uh, anything in your uh, in your report so this is one of the scenario in another scenario actually uh, there could be a reason where uh, universe could be deleted but uh, still your report is pointing to pointing to that universe and you may be have a new universe uh, with the proper columns as the existing report so at that time when you run the report you will get an error because that uh, old universe got deleted because of that it has we created a new universe so we have to map that new universe to the existing report so you can consider that scenario as well here go to data and uh, click the change data source change source and point to the new uh, universe and again you have to map the columns accordingly so once you have mapped properly then you will get you will get the proper result as like this so there will not be any changes on your report uh, layout or even uh, any uh, changes on to the report elements what whatever the elements you have in this report so this is a way to change the source of the report thank you please subscribe